Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the rear bumper cover on a Honda Passport. To start off, open up the rear hatch and we're going to remove these bolts here in the back using a T30 Torx bit. And next, come around to the side of the bumper here, and we're going to remove these three Phillips screws. And this screw here on the bottom can be a little bit tricky because it's so close to the wheel. You can either take the wheel off or just use a stubby screwdriver. I'm using a Phillips bit on a ratchet to get in there. And then just grab a hold of the back part of the molding, back here by the bumper, and just pop it loose. And then in behind there is a Phillips screw that needs to come out. And next we're going to take a skinny plastic pry tool, and with one hand we're going to pull out on the bumper, and with the other we're going to use the plastic pry tool and pry down on the openings in the bumper. Uh, which releases it from the tabs of the spacer underneath the bumper and you're just going to work your way all the way up to the tail light and you can see right here the gaps that I was prying down on and you're going to want to do all of these steps here on the other side also and next we're going to climb underneath the bumper and starting here on the passenger side we're going to remove these two Phillips screws And then on the back side of the bumper here, there's a series of bumper clips that we need to remove. We need to start with these two right here. And I'm using a clip tool to remove these. Uh, you can use a flathead if you'd like. And the uh, best way to do this is to pry on one side of the clip uh, just a little bit and then work your way around 180 degrees to the other side and pry a little bit there and just go back and forth and work the clip out uh, until it starts popping out and then pull out on it. And then there's one more clip here on the driver's side on the back here. And again, we're going to pry out on it side to side. And these clips on the bottom here can get pretty grimy. If you do end up breaking these, it's not that big of a deal. You can get replacements for pretty cheap on Amazon. And once you get that out, you're going to want to take the other screws out like just like we did on the other side. And then just go to each side of the bumper and pull directly back on it. And as I'm pulling it off, I'm just letting the bumper rest on the bumper beam. And next we need to unplug the wires inside of the bumper here. And to do that, you just want to push in on the tab and pull out on the wire plug. It's the tab right there. And do the same on the other side. Also, this wire plug right here. And that's it, guys. Bumper's off. Thanks for watching.